Hi, welcome. It's Marek Mulaček from SAI Training. Uh, you can find all my tutorials and videos on photoshoplightroombridge.co.uk and this time today we've got a quick tip for you on using Adobe Photoshop Lightroom. I'll be using Lightroom, Adobe Photoshop Lightroom 3 in here but it also applies to Lightroom 2. So if you're a Lightroom 2 user, don't worry about it. This will work as well. Now when you, this will deal with how to customize your application window. When you look on your panels inside Photoshop Lightroom, there's one panel group on the left hand side and one panel group on the right hand side containing all the panels. Now if you should scroll to the bottom of the panels on both sides, you can see these little icons, this kind of things. They're called panel end marks. Okay? And there's loads of different panel end marks that ship with Lightroom. If you want to change it, it's as simple as right clicking anywhere in his blank area and selecting a different panel end mark. So you could use different, the default is the flourish, which looks well not best, but you can easily change it. I used to use Yin Yang, for example. You can see how it changes in both panels at the same time, on the left and on the right, or maybe another ornament. There's loads of them. Sometimes people ask me, okay, what if I don't like any of these and I want to use something, you know, my photograph or my graphic, or maybe a logo of my company, my business, or anything, maybe my name. Now, that's a really good question, and Lightroom makes it so easy for you to change it. Let's go back here. If you right click anywhere in this area when the panel end mark appears, in the sub menu, select panel end mark and then go to panel end marks folder. There's a folder on your computer where Lightroom keeps all the panel end marks, or the ones you create. So if you want to create your own customized panel of end mark, you just put it inside this folder here. If we look inside panel end marks folder, I have one logo here. That's my logo, the logo of my company. And this actually is a PNG file. So it's got transparency behind it. When you create your logo or graphic, it's good to remember to save it as a PNG file or PSD file could be good as well. So you can have a transparency behind it, right? Now the graphic also needs to be quite small. You can see my graphic is 100 by 91 pixels. It has to be quite small because there's not much space in the panel. Now, this this question, there's another question that people usually ask me. Okay, so what size my graphic should be? Now, this will depend on your screen resolution. Depends on your screen resolution, then you can find out how big your screen is and how much space you can have here. As an example, <coughs> I'm just going to quickly start Photoshop okay and what I will do here inside of Lightroom I'm going to take a screenshot of my Lightroom interface and I'm going to paste it into Photoshop to find out how much space I have inside here so so here inside of Lightroom I'm just going to press print screen button on my keyboard okay to take a print screen now I'll go to Photoshop okay in Photoshop I'm going to go to file new because I've already taken screenshot, Photoshop is so clever that it remembers that I'm going to use my clipboard. This is my screen resolution, so I'll just press OK and I'll paste my screenshot, Control V or Command V on the Mac. And I'm going to zoom in a bit to 100% view and I'll remove this image. Now, even if I just have a quick look on the rulers, I can see that my screen state here it's only around 200 pixels, no more than 200 pixels. So my graphic shouldn't be outside, the graphic shouldn't be bigger than 120, 130 pixels or so on. Something around 100 pixels works best because remember your graphic should be quite small so it doesn't obstruct the view. Okay? The gra that's why gra the graphic I've created, if I just go back to this panel at max folder, my graphic is only around 100 pixels. Now once you've copied the graphic into the panel and max folder, you can easily do it by dragging and dropping the graphic into this folder here. Then you go back to Lightroom, I'm just going to close that. And you right click, select panel and mark, and then the name of the graphic will appear here. So I'll select my graphic, and this is my logo, straight in here on both sides. Now, this is really, really good. I hope you enjoy it. 
that's how you can easily customize Lightroom some more tips will follow thanks for today once again I'm Marek Mularczyk from Sai Training you can find more videos and tutorials on my blog photoshoplightroombridge.co.uk till next time